There are actually a lot of really interesting things that have come along recently. Um, we've had a very good medication for many years called sandostatin, which is what we call a somatostatin analog. It's a hormone of a synthetic hormone of a natural hormone we all make. And it's worked very well for 25 years. Just last year, there was a new trial that came out looking at another type of somatostatin analog called somatulin, which has also been shown to decrease, uh, to slow down the tumor growth. And so that's a, a very exciting finding for us. And then uh, two years ago, f a few years ago, we actually had two new medications approved, one called sunitinib and everolimus for the types of neuroendocrine tumors, especially from the pancreas. But just this past month, we had a, a wonderful announcement from three different companies um, describing the use of, of new medications for neuroendocrine. One is called Affinitor, which is actually already approved, but it's now actually more effective in other types of neuroendocrine tumors. We have um, another medication called Telotrostat, which is, uh, seems to be effective in treating carcinoid syndrome, the hormone syndrome that uh, causes a lot of diarrhea and, and flushing. And very excitingly, there's a new medication called Lutathera, which is a radioactive version of octreotide, it's the hormone. And it's been shown to slow down the growth of tumors as well. So with all these new tools at our disposal, we are very excited and very hopeful for all of our patients.